Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Ariel, Jason, Leon, and Pierre. We're joined by our good friend Josh. Hope you guys enjoy this episode of Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers. Uh, Pierre, take it away. Man, I'm excited for this. What a way to cap off our <laughs> way to cap off our Friday night. Leon's wearing his Google hat. Mm-hmm. Snap's got a blood in, blood out gangster t-shirt. I don't know what this is about. This is a uh... all right. Yeah, it's life. Carlitos dead asleep. Carlitos is blood in, blood out. I'll fight a count. <laughs> you guys yeah, ready to get started here? You guys ready to get started? Let's go. All right, let's, let's go. go. No way. Oh, no. Come on. No way. Just because people say it's you. Absolutely. <laughs> That's exactly why. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Look at I I love that picture with Carlito in the back seat. Though. That thing is the best part of all this, man. Look at him. <laughs> Strapped in for safety. That's all done purposely, okay? I Did know you guys, guys see the video it. that kid put together of like <laughs> international sign for help or something. Yo, does anybody have it? I can't find it. Uh, I know Pierre posted in his story like hey, a couple days ago. It's too late now. I didn't record it. Oh man, I'm sure they'll post it again. Yeah, whoever made that video, post it again. Yeah. It's, Minnesota yeah. tradesman or something. Again. it's a Minnesota tradesman or something. He's he's visited the store a couple times. Okay, okay, or at least once. And then I sold him some twins hats from the basement before they came out. Nice. Yeah, man, please post it one more time. I promise I'll record it this time. It puts the uh, the Sarah McLaughlin soundtrack to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right, and Carlitos <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm serious. Oof. This is probably the worst hats Lids Hat Drop has ever made. Who made these? Was it Andy? Was it the new designer? Was it Big Jack? I don't know. But whoever idea was this was not bueno. Um, super soaker hats that just ain't soaking. Um, the orange undervisors, the neon green undervisors, these this gradient half colorway, the the ugly looking side patches are just not good. And not only did they give us these three, there's other flavors you could choose from as well. And I don't know how you could sit on a Lids HD Live and lie and lie to the public telling them that these are good hats, but they're not. Okay. And anybody in the community get these hats. It must have been you got them for your kids, summer camp. I don't know. But please, I hope I, I don't see anybody wearing anything this bad. These hats are going to be rare in the community. I wouldn't wear this hat if my grandmother bought it for me. <laughs> I'm telling Wella, Wella, this hat is not valid. These are, <laughs> these are, these are really bad. These are really, really bad. I'm going to be like, well, lleva la para atrás. Lleva la para atrás, por favor. Get your money back. <laughs> These are extremely bad. These shits are a stomach ache. <laughs> I wonder if they still have these up. <laughs> Do they right. go through meetings when they pick the hats? That Did are they be pretend made? to sell out yet? Did they pretend that they sold out no, yet? No, know. they're still up. Not yet. They'll be up till Tuesday, probably. Dude, dude, wait, uh, guys, no, I want to ask they you. They usually take them down in like 12 dude, hours. Wait, wait, you guys have been to the Lids headquarters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do they go through a room of people to say, hey, yeah, let's drop these? Or is it just one person making the decision? We didn't really watch get that deep into it, but I'm sure it's a group decision. Wow. That's a terrible group. <laughs> it's not a very big group, from what I recall. No. I love their rep, Hoosh, too. I really love that guy. Yeah. But he's yeah. not the one. He's like, just making what they tell him to make, right? Yeah. Fuck, Leon. What's wrong with this hat? He's got you the like black eyelets and everything. <laughs> you like this hat? Uh, this is mostly because they, they had a whole collection of these uh, white-ass hats with the black eyelets, black-white. Um, Yeah, just sports. Up to just sports stuff. Um, I was going to pick on New Era Cap. I thought I was like... Uh, too easy, so I went with your sports this week. You're my weeper. Just sport, like they they are the most boring hat store on the planet. Yeah, I think they released like sixty of these because there's like NFLs, NBAs, and MLBs. Uh, white hats with black eyelet pack. Sixty. 
yeah, close to. There's a lot of them. There was a lot of them. Yeah, way but, more uh, than there should have been. Yeah, Atlanta got Atlanta got the treatment because they were near the top. So uh, just sports with their. Yeah, has to I mean, it's not it's not the worst hat I've ever seen. It, it's it's the combination of, of applying this colorway across three leagues with sixty teams. It's just like yeah. I don't understand why you need to do that. That has to be like the Twilight points. Zone. Like looking at a wall with like I six could, I, I, I the same see. color. I could see a level two or a level three collector buying one of these. Yeah, and there was even some like NCAA teams. They did some Sun yeah, Devils. Yeah, they usually and stuff. do uh, Arizona yeah. and Arizona State. Yeah, there a lot of these. So, uh, yeah, so they got the business this week. Weeper. <clears throat> Four, just, just, just why? <laughs> it's almost too easy. <laughs> I know. It's like it's so bad I, though. I, I get I build all the slides and then Leon yells at me, "Where's your fucking weepers keep it?" And then I gotta go find something. And I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck it, I'll just go see what fanatics dropped this week." Yep. Is. <sighs> like, just no originality. Nah, man, these are, this is a bad hat, and it's got like just. And they put it on the, like the, 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 the douchiest of all all hats too. The Chicago Bulls, like. I they mean, did all the teams. If Matt was here, he would say this is the epitome of douchebag. They definitely have <laughs> right. a, this. Looks like a no. Team. They definitely they they applied this to at least all the major league baseball teams, a handful of a uh, handful of NBA teams. Just I bet the, the Celtics base. have one. The Lakers have one. Yeah, here. Celtics, Lakers, Warriors, Knicks. Mm-hmm. You know, the big I see markets. one of my cousins from Puerto Rico wearing this hat with a hair full of jelly <laughs> and the brim super straight. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With gel in his hair. This is it. Uh, Great pick. Great pick. All right. Such a bad hat. Oh no. <laughs> Never wrong. Listen, I mean I <laughs> listen. <laughs> I know that like I know I saw the Instagram picture where Dave from Capsule had like a bunch of carts of hats like that he was that, that came from this collection I guess that they were shipping out but I mean I don't care I think they're bad yeah. I, I, I do actually like Capsule I, I like a lot of stuff Capsule does but these are re- really like just stupid to me black and white front logos and then a colorful side I don't know man it's just they might have been shipping them back to New Era. <laughs> Jesus. No, man. They, they stole, man. They, they've got a good following, and they've got people yeah. that like their stuff, you know? But – and again, like, just because I don't like them doesn't mean other people don't like them. I, yeah. For me personally, these are my weepers. I just don't like these. I don't. I, there's nothing about them I like. These are Black Nasties. These are 2023 <laughs> Black Nasties. They got three little shelves in Manhattan, and when you ask the customer, the workers there, what are they about? They're like, I don't know. They're just hats. You want it or not? <laughs> what is right. Capsule a, a shoe store by trade, though? It's like a, it's like a, like a, like a, it's yeah, in a big consignment shop. Yeah, like a, like a stadium goods or something. So like laced like, up. Buy, sell here. Buy, buy, trade, and sell. I think laced but up is the main store. They also have hats now. Capsule is like a small section of that big okay. store. Got and it. if you go all the way to the back, you start smelling mothballs from all the thrift clothes that they got there. <laughs> you can't have them damaging the goods, man. Some of those t-shirts are like five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> before we before we go to sleepers, there is a hat that I wanted to mention that was like just so funny to me. They they took this whole Alabama brawl thing to the extreme where they're making merchandise off of it. And I saw a cartoon picture of the guy. Hitting the person with the chair on a front of a hat, and I was like, "This has gone too far." That's, that's too much, <laughs> Dude, there was this crazy fight in the Bronx. Just, that my, girl, my girlfriend just sent me um, a reel of earlier today. Dude, this dude like took a drawer of a refrigerator and started beating the shit out of somebody, Damn. and this other guy had a, a an axe. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that one. He, he was swinging it full speed. That's yeah. dude. That's two blocks from my girlfriend's place. Yeah, and I saw that one. She knows who they are. They work at the appliance store. He Jeez. took a he took an axe and swung it like a baseball bat and almost hit this guy and missed and like fell on the ground. 
got wow. back up with the axe and it was still ch- with an axe, dude. I'm talking like a big ass Full axe. axe. Yeah, yeah. Holy Crazy. shit. We live rough out here, you heard? Wow. Yeah. With a fucking axe? It was an Full axe. axe Full size axe. This was like a Paul Bunyan fucking axe. This thing wasn't small. It wasn't like <laughs> a little axe. It was like a like a, Not one, a hatchet, one, an axe. When you live in a city like that, why do you even have a full size axe? Can I tell you why? Because of that very scenario. <laughs> <Can I tell? laughs> Somebody's, you, somebody's you coming after you with well, a refrigerator all, drawer. That's the best way to do it. No, no, no. The refrigerator drawer, drawer and the axe guy were working together. Yeah, they oh, work, okay. they both work at the appliance store. So one works in the refrigerator section, the other one works in the lumberjack section. Was it was it at least an axe you would use like if there was a fire alarm or something? No. It's an axe you would use if you were a Paul Bunyan and you needed to cut down like a like a big ass tree. Yeah. What the fuck is that one of those things doing in the bra? They need it for protection, man. Protection, Jesus. puppy. You know he missed them by millimeters, though. <laughs> you never know, dude. He missed the dude he was trying to hit by like that much. Yeah, he and almost he hit the car, so right? Hard. He swung so hard he spun around and like fell because <laughs> it's heavy. So it swings like a Yankee, though, huh? This yeah. dude, no, if he can, I, I told my girlfriend, thank God that dude missed, man. He would have been life in prison, man. I, oh, I'm yeah. telling you. That was like he would have cut that guy like right at the the art one of those like main arteries in the back of his leg. It was mm-hmm. crazy. So what did he do at the end? He just chased him down. He kept yeah, chasing him with away. the axe, and then and then it, like just cuts out a little bit. But the guy with the drawer was like running with the, like, the refrigerator drawer, like he was gonna hit somebody else like, with it, like, like the fruit drawer. Yeah, like, but it was pretty heavy. No, like the freezer. Like if you had a drawer, like a freezer drawer. Oh, it's gotta, okay. Gotta okay. So it's got to be on on one of those one Jesus. of those uh, gossip pages. I'll send it to you after, man. The worst I thing it, I have to deal with over here is tornado. I take that any day over some dude with an axe chasing after me. Nah, this dude, this dude was coming at him with some authority. All right, let's move on to our sleepers, everybody. How can we sleep now? What the fuck it. is this? Where is it? This is actually a good hat, man. Real tree hat dead. is nice. And I seen it in a video, you know, like to see it closer up and stuff. And the the outline on the Yankee logo and like that gradient stitching inside is all metallic. It looks really nice. Hmm. I bet you don't. Know I know that 1999 cool. patch is like not like a super cool patch anymore, but oh, it's not. Overall, I think the the hat is nice. People still like that patch. Still pretty popular, no. I like I it. So. Yeah, I would say it's still probably. You know what this hat is hooked to, right? Nope, don't care. Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. What, what the that? fuck? Now you just ruined the hat for me. I don't want it now. Now I don't want the fucking hat. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm I gotta call exclusive fitted and tell them to cancel my order. Yeah, the red button for the for Red Riding Hood, and you got the the wolf there and the NY symbol. Yeah, the wolf in the NY symbol. Yeah. If you ever seen the wolf and what what he wore, you'll see. Are you being serious? Is this real? No, I'm fucking with you, man. I hope he's not, man, because he's making me not like the fucking hat. Like, what the hell are you talking about? All right, cool. That was original. Oh, uh, my yeah. sleeper, take a LSD and chill. <laughs> you ever play baseball on LSD? Well, some jabroni that played for the Pirates did, and this motherfucker was. Gone out his mind, and he played the best baseball he's ever played. And so my boy Leon with Pro Image Sports Colorado decided to uh, go against the rules and make an LSD hat. Trippy, my sleeper. All right, nice monologue. Again, did I get it right, Leon? I, I, uh, I mean, we don't know if it's a sleeper yet, but all right. <laughs> yeah, hasn't come. We, out this yet, but. this hasn't dropped as a film time. But it would yeah. have dropped as of airtime. So let us know in the comments if this was actually a sleeper or not, because I'm pretty sure Snap's wrong again. But no, yeah. I know last time I was right. Yeah, you were because you no, bet no. against your friend. So you predicted but, yeah. that this is a sleeper. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. I, I always make correct. Very predictions. nice. Right. So this has already me. predicted against me already. Thanks. Mm-hmm. He's betting Thank against you. you now, Leon. Way to go. Thank you, my friend. Um okay. sleeper, Los Rojos. Uh Toppers hat for me. I felt like they had a good a good week. Um, a lot of a lot of hats. Um, I think their hit rate was like eight out of ten. 
Yeah, um, they percentage wise. This week. Um, but yeah, this was full size run at the time of uh, submission. Um, yeah, full size run. I, Red's nice. hat is hard. Great hat. Great hat. Mm-hmm. Very nice little throw. I don't know why this is in full size run. Wow. Makes no sense to me. And the Brooklyn one. And the Brooklyn one. I, I, I gave the nod to the Blue Jays because, again, of the 75th Jackie fatigue. But, um, yeah, this is a great-looking hat. The gold, the cotton canvas. Um, yeah. I don't know. Shout-out still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout him out. Great hat. I fuck with still. Mm-hmm. Well, Leon, you, you – okay, time out. Okay, keep going. No, I, you know, I, he'll I, explain I, I, why just, it's this. I'll he'll explain it. why it's this. What the fuck? <laughs> no, listen, I, I, I'm just, I believe that like the Texas Rangers are like the next hype team. I really do. I think the team's performing well. I think they have good logos. Those not, logos are fire. I'm not saying that these are all the best hats. That's not what I'm saying. I just asked Leon to put a bunch of Texas Rangers logos up here. And these are the ones you picked, Leon? <laughs> the yep. Texas, but the, <laughs> but the Rangers in general, like, listen, it has all the earmarks of what happened with Houston. It has all the earmarks of what happened with uh, Atlanta. Remember when those teams were just untouchable? Mm-hmm. And I think Texas is that team. If Texas ends up um, advancing and, and making it far into the playoffs, I know people are going to say, oh, that doesn't have any. Yeah, it does. It does have something to do with it. Absolutely, and, yes. and I believe like this Texas fan base is hungry to get attention, and if they end up getting into the World Series or something, look out because every Texas hat is not going to be able to stay in stock. I yes. I believe Texas is it. I do, especially I have those a feeling. oil oil rich motherfuckers down in Dallas <laughs> like that. I'm not be buying saying, up. I'm not saying it's going to be every one of these logos that's pictured here. What I'm saying is. Texas in general is going to be one of those teams like what we've seen with Atlanta and Houston. Mm-hmm. Um, I do believe that's going to happen. That to take bottom care. right one, that bottom right one from my fit is, is is super clean. The Texaco, that's beautiful. I like yeah. the Mister T one from Toppers USA. Which that one? Was really nice. The the one on top, the the top, top right. right. The, the bottom Mr. left. T's. The bottom left is Mister T too. Ooh. Yeah, those those high top <laughs> team man. No, but I just think that I think it wasn't about like promoting anything for any specific store, more about right. Texas. And I think these Texas logos, I think, are the next the next big thing. I, I really forgot do. they had that TX logo. That one's dope. That's my yeah. sleeper of the week. Yeah. That Texas script it it, it presents nice, like is yeah. it's visually nice when done right. Yeah, I like it. All right, moving forward. This hat is dope, man. It is. This hat is so fucking dope. I know I'm probably glazing OD right now. They're like, oh, because he's, 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 they treat him good at top. Uh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, he's just kissing ass, folks. Just, <laughs> yeah. Fuck up. Hat is hard. You know, this, know this. Dope. The side patch is dope. The metallic and the and the Seattle script in the front is 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 clean. It's beautiful. It's nothing wrong with this hat. I, I know it looks. It. Thank you. I I know it looks like it here, but this isn't actually contrast stitching. They just no, do not right. have an exact match for this fabric when it comes to thread. Mm. You don't really notice it though. You don't really notice it. You can you. I I just point it out because you can really see it in this picture right. here. But it's a great hat. Just a little uh, more, you know. That's all. Fair enough. Super Good cool pick. hat. Good pick. All right, move forward. Yeah. Once really again, laying on thick, Josh. Once again. <laughs> but bro, these hats are good. Like these hats are fucking good. They're beautiful, and and if you're that type of person that is into the hype of the metallic stuff, this is undeniable good shit. Like. There's, there's like four four um good metallic ones over there and then like a bunch of other ones where like the gold outline on the logos they're all clean as fuck like none of them look bad none of them Thank you. the Yankee one and this one are my favorite because 
is full gold in the logo. So this one like bought the gold, you like the gold on gold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Say what you want, but this shit is hard. I love this hat too. All right, moving forward. All right, I just want to let you know before I speak on this hat. Um, Leon screwed um, himself this, over. Right, I made yeah. his hat a keeper. His hat was a keeper. His hat <laughs> oh. was a keeper. Okay. The next one that you're gonna see was the sleeper. <laughs> Anyways, this is, a, sli this is um, a sleeper or the next one. No, the next one's gonna be the sleeper. Oh, okay. This yeah. one's a definitely keeper. Shouts out to John Jay for giving a long time uh friend and customer uh Frankie uh a chance and now he did a pack with him and his son and this yankee one is amazing the metallics on this hat are gorgeous i remember when uh frankie told me that he was getting a hat made and what he was planning to do and now that i see it come to life yes lord this is a keeper for my fittings shouts out to the community on this one beautiful now, the next one is really a sleeper <laughs> go, go to the next slide this one from fan treasures john demaria um they this this logo right here is like we me and jason think it's the city connect of the year and this is the sleeper again though i'm predicting the future. This i know Friday. this hat will this hat is going to be fake. Okay, still betting against be john fake. john demaria the godfather he's going to be hunting you down no me and john are amazing uh we have a great relationship but this one is going to be the sleeper because people are not going to understand this one yet. Um, Leon's is the keeper. Okay. All right. So listen, you see that little black dot next to the spur? Mm -hmm. Make sure you, if you get the hat and you don't try to scratch that off, that's actually supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. Some people think it's like uh, like an imperfection. I almost thought it was. And then I looked at it I'm like, wait a second, that's a different thread color. Damn. And, um, it's supposed to be there, just so you're all aware. Just get right. gold on gold. That was Leon predicting the future. <laughs> so I wouldn't bet against you either. So I picked your pack as my keeper of the week. Um, if I'm going to target one, I'm going to target the Mexican uh, one or the Houston one at the bottom uh, right and right middle. But, uh, yeah, all in all, Pro Society, snap back, back at it again. Yes. Um, he didn't have to miss any showtime uh, for this drop either. So that's an extra plus. I got oh. to spend the weekend with him. Plus, though, <laughs> Slash sarcasm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, great job, Snap. Um, I love what you're doing. Um, yeah, Mexican and Houston for me. Uh, if I were to highlight any of these hats. Second keeper of the week, uh, Space Camo. I'm selecting the Toronto one up top, uh, mainly because when Jason submitted his, uh, I had the Jackie Robinson. But I pivoted to this one, so I'm going to highlight the Toronto Space Camo um, Glow. Yeah, it goes in the dark. So, still. I really I want to like this Urban Camo or this Midnight Camo. Mm -hmm. Really want to like it. This is going to be the new wave. You think so? Uh, I see a lot of stores doing this damn camo. It's supposed to be like the babe, the babe camel, right? Uh, I think it's an actual camel that they use, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. It, it looks like a a mix of like duck camel with like woodland camel or something. Yeah. I think it's actually like a military camel, but it is. yeah, I I can see what it you're is the babe stuff it though. Is. But if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what it is. Let me see. Still, right. Mm -hmm. I love the Photoshop work. <laughs> no, that's not Photoshop. He actually He's took really this up to space. He, he really took a flight. Shaheen, up. That's Shaheen right there wearing the little uh, space mm -hmm. outfit. Yeah, mm -hmm. he has a Tesla. So that's like Leon going like away, huh? He just, he just. Yeah. When you own a yeah. Tesla, you get Elon's uh, personal cell phone, and so he took a SpaceX mm -hmm. flight to mm -hmm. get these pictures taken. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Moving forward. Uh, my first keeper oh. is comes from Sneaker Town. This uh, this gold outline off white Oakland Athletics. Um, there's not a lot of great Oakland Athletics hats out there, but I think this one is is in there. Good green, wow. uh, yeah, gold outline. That's good, good stuff. 
right. And and they have a Jamaican Asian lady that will answer your call if you give them a ring. Right, Snap? Yep. Mm-hmm. Jamaican. And then my second keeper is this uh, Daytona Tortugas with this uh, Everest green uh, crown. Um, yeah. He, uh, he does a great job with the, the minor league stuff, mixing it up. Um, I even I even selected this, even though it does have a cord brim. But I mm-hmm. don't care. This is a good-looking hat. I love the colors on it for sure. That's two cord brims back-to-back for my fittest that you like. Uh, the What was the other one? Harvard. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Linsanity. Which is better, Harvard or Tortugas? Mm, I'll go Harvard. Me too. Yeah. Just because I almost so, went there. Pierre, oh, yeah. you like the Harvard hat? No? Uh-oh. No. <laughs> I don't, like right. those pre- I don't like those pretentious fucks. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't like it because of the school. Okay, gotcha. All right. All right. Moving, moving forward. Yep. All right. My yeah. first keeper of the week. I know everyone scoffed at the price, but I love me a good wool hat. And this uh, this um, OVO MLB New Era cap I thought was really well done. Um, it's got it's got that uh, that beautiful wool. I like the colors of the owl on the side, and I like the eyelids having that little like um, North Star looking thing. I just thought they were. I thought I thought it was really a really cool hat. I know the price tag was hefty, but um, I'm in for a couple of streetwear caps. Um, Fear of God was probably better in my opinion, but I still like these a lot. Hey, the 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 price of the hat has to be up there. Drake can't host uh, the Kentucky basketball team for free. Mm-hmm. He's got to pay yeah. for that somehow. If you ever need help, though, they price the Canadian and the U.S. hats at the same dollar value, but then you lose on tax, so it's a little bit better, but not quite. Yeah. Is Maybe the front logo cool. flat stitched or yeah. is it red? Yeah, it it's flat. It's flat. Okay. Yeah. Flat. I love this hat, man. Yeah. No, it looks good. It has a nice shape to it, too. Yep. All right. Moving forward. All right. My second keeper of the week goes to the locker room of Downey. This pack, I just think, is so well done. 16 caps, all of them really focused on uh, Fernando Valenzuela, um, a Mexican hero, someone that uh, that really uh, transcended the game but was also a fantastic baseball player. Um, I think Ivan and Vivian really knocked this uh, pack out of the park. There's something for everybody in this pack. 16 hats, every one of them good. Um, and that's my second keeper of the week. And that, my friends, draws this show to a close. What a good little, what a good day, right? Good little day. Yeah. Yeah, listen, we're wrapping up for the day. I want to thank you guys for joining joining me this evening. It was a really good uh, good show. Good this week in caps and capped off with uh, a great keepers, sleepers, and weepers. And Josh is showing off his uh, tree chomper. So, listen, guys, thanks again. And with that, Leon, take us away, big fella. You see that, Sean? You see that, Sean? <laughs> you see that, Sean? <laughs> In case y'all see me moving around sometimes during the show, it's because, you know what I'm saying? I'm flexing. And you're hungry. <laughs> you you got to be hungry. I'm starving. All right. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, for Josh, Ariel, Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we out of here. Peace, see you, everybody. Peace. Later, y'all. Brought to you by BFTV.